that man took my virginity, y'all. And I didn't like it because I didn't want it to happen. Yeah, my blame, 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 blame. Yeah, I do my thing, 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 thing. thing, thing, thing yeah, I pull that lane, 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 lane. Okay, yeah. I'm double cut, stop hugs. Molly got me geeked up. Yo, what's up, y'all? Y'all already know it's Big B and not the little one. And I am back with another video, man. So, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hey, y'all. It's been one hell of a fucking day and um in this story time it's gonna be my little experience of me going to the hospital because yes i am in complete fucking pain right now i just took a pain medicine but i was like i gotta drop a video i want to drop a video so i came out here to do a little quick story time of what's going on with me so um the shit just happened out of fucking nowhere like yesterday i woke up i had some pain right on my lower belly or whatever but y'all know me i can take pain you know i got hella tattoos i can fucking take pain but yesterday it wasn't as bad as it was last night and this morning but i was taking that pain and so i just thought you know it was some shit because you know i have been i had started back drinking a quite bit or whatever i was drinking and drinking a lot of red bulls you know been busy working and shit or whatever and so i just thought it was like a uti or some shit but last night that pain had skyrocketed to the fucking roof so i didn't get no sleep at all i had no pain medicine because i'm the type of person i do not like taking medicine like i do not like taking medicine at all so i was just up all night in total pain so this morning i woke up like what the fuck it just got it just kept getting worse and worse and worse so i woke up this morning was like no no way i gotta go to the er or whatever to see what the fuck going on so boom i go to the fucking er boom so boom i get to the er they check me in whatever i am still in pain so the first crazy thing was i was in they was like on a scale one through ten how bad is your pain i'm fucking like 20 so when I said 20, they had gave me like some morphine. They was like, have you ever had morphine? I'm like, nah, what is that with who? So they was like, okay, you're gonna get a weird thing that go through your body, but it's normal. So I'm over here paranoid. Cause I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this medicine is. They done gave me a little throw up bag just in case I got a throw up. So they put the little morphine in my fucking IV. When I tell y'all, <laughs> like in two seconds, I felt that shit like it felt so fucking weird, but it took the pain instantly away. So I was able to like, you know, calm down and not be in so much pain. Cause I, when I tell y'all, I felt like I was finna motherfucking die. I was finna motherfucking die. So boom, the doctor cut that comes in, um, asks all the questions and I tell them what's up. And so they proceed to want to do more tests. So the first test I did was a, 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 um, a CT scan, I think. And so they take me to the CT scan and then the lady was like, okay i'm gonna give you something and it's gonna it's gonna make your body fucking hot so i'm like make my body hot i'm like okay first it was some shit that's gonna make my body fucking weird it gave me a fucking weird taste in my mouth so boom i get to the ct scan and the lady she sticks whatever medicine it was in my body so they can scan me and um when i tell y'all y'all she was not lying when she said that shit was gonna make my motherfucking body hot. Like, my shit raised to like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I felt like I was fucking peeing on myself. I felt like I pissed on myself. And so, I go do that scan or whatever, and I wait, like, go back to the room, and then this is where the crazy part happens. The lady was like, I have, I have an outside of my uterus. It's like a little tumor thing outside of my uterus. So the lady was like, you're too young to have this. So I wanna do further tests, blah, 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 with the whoop. So I'm like, cool, if y'all feel like it's necessary, fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> so they take me to um, an ultrasound. And so I'm gonna insert the little clips where I was when I was in this room. I've been in 
in so much pain. I haven't even been able to vlog, but I'm definitely going to add these clips I've been recording and just sit down and do a story time because this has been a crazy ass hospital visit. <laughs> like, it's been crazy. They take me to do an ultrasound and she was like, get naked, cover up with the towel, I mean, cover up with the sheet and ooh the woo. So she, I do that, I do what she say, I'm sitting in the bed. So she was like, prop your two legs up. Wait a minute. What the fuck you mean? What the fuck you mean, prop your two legs up? So she was like, yeah, get to the end of the bed and prop your two legs up. I'm like, what, what's going on? I thought, you know, ultrasound is when you rub on my motherfucking belly. Why well, I gotta, you know, put my legs up? And so, yes, I'ma insert, I'ma insert the shits right here. And so I'm like, um, I don't feel comfortable doing this shit blah 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 can we just stick with the ultrasound because i don't want nothing going up in my vagina she's like okay cool blah 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 so we do the um ultrasound i wait like another 40 minutes after we get done and the doctor was like um i just feel like you need to go ahead and do this because we need to see a, we need to get a better view and understanding of what's going on down there you know what i'm saying so I'm like, well, shit, fuck it. They done got, they went and found the OBGYN doctor in the hospital. And I'm like, a he? It was just a whole lot of shit. Like, the doctor ended up being a he. And so they was like, that's cool. I said, yeah, I mean, I don't care. You mean, y'all just doing y'all job. Just, just doing to get over it. So, y'all. So we get to the thing. I get undressed again. And I get prepared. Three doctors, three doctors at the time. My nurse, the lady who did the um, ultrasound, and the man who was finna do the little, the OBGYN man. Reminds me, y'all, I have never, I've never been to OBGYN. I know that's bad. I know, I know that's, you know, as a female, you supposed to go and get these things normally, but this is the whole reason why I've never done it because that shit fucking hurt it. You know what I'm saying? So, we get to the um everybody come in we get prepared we get ready and so i'm sitting there and i'm like okay what the fuck are y'all finna put up me i'm gonna insert what the fuck they had to put up me and they was like just relaxed blah 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 blah, blah, blah. and so he was like are you sexually active i'm like um i'm gay <laughs> and he started laughing or whatever and so they was like, uh-oh, because they basically knew that since I'm gay, nine times out of ten, I have not been penetrated, and this procedure is going to be very uncomfortable, which it was. And so they proceeded to put the thing on my vagina. And when I tell you, I immediately started fucking crying. They felt so fucking bad for me. Like, my, my doctor had came and just was holding me, and... It's, I felt like I was having a baby. She was like, breathe. Just breathe in, breathe out. Breathe, relax. Breathe in, breathe out, relax. I feel like I was in fucking labor. And I'm thinking they, when they first put it in, I'm thinking that's how that was, they was done. That's how far they had to go. But no, she was like, okay, I got to stick it up some more. I started boo-hoo crying. So, like, it was so bad. I started crying so bad. They had another doctor come in. I had two nurses, two doctors, nurses, whatever fuck they was on both of my sides. Just like guiding me and helping me get through this little procedure it was so uncomfortable it was so fucking painful and so i got a little tumor outside of my uterus and they just wanted to make sure that it wasn't inside and so they was like well shit if you ever want to have babies you good baby you got hella eggs you fertile blah 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 woo -de -woo. and i'm but more of the story was that they just wanted to check to see that it was nothing serious nothing on the inside and I don't necessarily need surgery. And but if I ever wanted to have kids, that's when surgery is necessary to do before. But the way this shit is set up, y'all, this shit is very fucking painful. I've been in pain. I normally can take pain. I normally don't fucking cry, but I've been fucking crying. My fucking ass hurt. The lower of my stomach hurt. My fucking everything down there in that area just fucking hurts. But um I had just got done picking up my medicine. So I'm just I'm just going to keep taking this medicine, even though I don't like taking medicine. And the fucking pills are big as hell, but 
Why, G? Why the fuck you gotta let shit happen to me? And it's the scary thing is, like, as a woman, you never know what the fuck going on with your body. So this lesson from this situation is I'm just gonna eventually get out my fear of going to the doctors and being in the hospital or just being in any doctor's offices because it's very necessary to know what the fuck going on in your body and it's necessary to have fucking checkups as a woman but that man took my virginity y'all and i didn't like it because i didn't want it to happen it's simple fact that i think i lost my virginity in this motherfucking hospital y'all man if you are stood out there you know if you don't if you don't know you know man that shit is fucking crazy i don't see how y'all women get penetrated baby i'm gonna just keep it real with you i don't I don't see how the fuck y'all get penetrated. Then I calls my mom after I leave the fucking hospital. And she's over here laughing. Like, everybody was fucking laughing at my pain. <laughs> yeah, she ain't never had nothing like that. <laughs> they came back down there. That little nurse was so sweet. <laughs> she said, I feel so bad. feel like we violated her. <laughs> laughing at my pain, man. Uh-uh. At the doctor. <laughs> I said, no, she done lost her virginity at the doctor. <laughs> I want for me. What else? <laughs> I need about the whole fact. You did come in there talking about where my vape at. <laughs> this ain't eating it. I need my black. Just be laughing in my vein, right? And it's just crazy to me. It's like, okay, just because y'all know, like, to take shit up, y'all put it on me. You know, she was like, you should have took your ass a long time ago. You'll be used to it. No. The freaking reason I never went is because I knew how the fuck that shit was going to be and how bad that shit was going to fucking hurt. But my B gang, that's my new name for y'all. I'm finna go lay down, you know. You know, they, um, I'm going to be out for a little while because this shit right here is fucking crazy. Like, this is the first time I've been able to fucking walk straight. It's the them pills, them pills, whatever fucking pills they gave me, the fucking pills work because I'm able to walk and shit like that. If y'all knew how much in pain I was, I swear to God, y'all was not being dramatic. I am a, I'm a gangster, baby. Can't nothing get me down, man. But that shit right there, I don't wish that shit. That's worse than a toothache. I thought a fucking toothache was so fucking bad, but this shit is worse than a motherfucking toothache, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like doctors, man, go see you a doctor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, everything I go through, I fucking learn a fucking lesson. My lesson is go see your doctor. Go see your OBGYN and, and, and just keep up with the fuck going on with yourself because it's necessary, bro. Like this shit just came out of fucking nowhere. I didn't have no symptoms. They was like, did you have a bad period? I was like, no, I had my shit two weeks ago. It, was even, it wasn't even as bad, because normally, I've lately, I've been having bad periods, but I had my shit when I was in Miami. It wasn't it wasn't bad. Like, I didn't feel, I wasn't cramping, none of that shit. And so, it was just like, that shit crazy. So, it was just like, it's been one hell of a fucking day, bro. But that morphine, I see, like, I, I mean, don't, don't knock me down, because I know how y'all motherfuckers like to tussle. But that morphine, I see why crackheads are crackheads, bro. That shit hit me instantly. It felt good. I was high. I was feeling good. Pain, painless and everything. But it went away. So it's like, oh, this is what y'all mean when y'all was like, when they be like, drug addicts, they get addicted because the high hit them so fast and it feel good, but it leave them even faster. So they got to keep going and keep going. I see that. I get that now. Because I'm like, damn, where the morphine at? I'm over here sound like a crackhead because that shit just, you know, it helped me a lot but i just had to check in with y'all man i told y'all i'm here to motherfucking stay we is a family now and we on our way to 20k so tell somebody tell somebody come kick it with b man like comment subscribe and i'm out fuck a whole truck out right now these niggas be mad at me i'm a flex right now right up on me got a glass for it got it right now
check out my bling, 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 bling. Yeah, I do my thing, 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 thing. thing, thing, thing yeah, I pull that lane, 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 lane. Okay, yeah. I'm double cut, I pull. Miley got me geeked up.